All right, everyone, buckle up, because today we're taking a deep dive into something truly wild. Wild? How so? Well, we're talking about the potential for free, limitless energy. You know, the kind that powers entire civilizations without breaking a sweat. Okay, you've piqued my interest. What's the source of this bold claim? We've got our hands on these excerpts from a document titled simply Magnet Engine. And let me tell you, it reads like something straight out of a tinkerer's dream. A magnet engine. Sounds intriguing, but also a bit like we're venturing into the realm of fringe science. That's the spirit. Our mission, should we choose to accept it, is to dissect this concept, see if it holds any water scientifically, and explore the mind-blowing what-ifs, if it actually works. I'm game if you are. Let's break it down. What does this magnet engine actually entail? Okay, so picture this. A cylindrical magnet, kind of like a AA battery, but with, you know, north and south poles, sitting inside a much larger ring magnet. Interesting. So we're already talking about interacting magnetic fields. What's the mechanism for generating energy? Now, here's where it gets interesting. This inner magnet hangs down, right? And it's connected by a copper wire. And the document is really, like, really insistent on heavy insulation. Heavy insulation, huh? Mm -hmm. That makes me think we're talking about potentially significant currents. They're definitely trying to channel the flow of energy very specifically. Exactly. It's all very mad scientist in their garage vibes. All right, so we have magnets, copper wire, and insulation. What's the supposed mechanism of action? How does this thing actually generate energy? So the document says that once you give the cylindrical magnet a little spin within the ring magnet's field, it's supposed to just keep going, like a perpetual motion machine generating a constant flow of electricity. Ah, uh, perpetual motion. There's the rub. That's where we bump into some fundamental laws of physics, specifically the conservation of energy. Creating more energy than you put in, achieving what's often called overunity. Well, that's the holy grail of energy production, but also, so far, scientifically impossible. Yeah, that's the part that raises all the eyebrows, right? Like, are we talking about rewriting the textbooks <laughs> here? But, and this is a big but, the document dives into some pretty specific details about the size ratios between the magnets, almost like a secret formula. And it really hammers home this idea that if the magnetic forces aren't perfectly balanced, things could go sideways fast. Like, we're talking wild oscillations, maybe even the magnet shattering. That's actually a great illustration of why understanding the physics is so crucial here. Even if this device isn't generating excess energy, dealing with powerful magnets can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Exactly. It's like, yeah, free energy sounds awesome, but not if it means your garage becomes a magnet-powered shrapnel launcher. Right? Yeah, exactly. Safety first, always. But let's entertain the hypothetical for a moment. If this magnet engine did somehow work as claimed, what would that mean for us? Oh man, it'd be huge, right? We're talking about a world potentially free from fossil fuels, a solution to the energy crisis, maybe even a way to power interstellar spaceships. It's a tantalizing thought, no doubt. But while we're indulging in these what-ifs, it's important to remember that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And so far, the scientific consensus remains that perpetual motion and, by extension, over-unity devices violate the fundamental laws of physics as we understand them. Totally. But, you know, throughout history, there have been countless examples of scientific breakthroughs that were initially dismissed as impossible. Remember Galileo? He was ridiculed for suggesting the Earth revolves around the sun. Precisely. That's the beauty of scientific inquiry. It's a constantly evolving process. And who knows, maybe this magnet engine, even if it doesn't pan out as described, might spark some new avenue of research or challenge our assumptions about magnetism and energy. No, that's a thought-provoking point. Even if this specific concept turns out to be a dead end, it highlights how much we still don't know about the universe and the forces that govern it. And that, I think, is a perfect place to leave our listeners. Absolutely. So, folks, have you ever experimented with magnets or energy? What are your thoughts on this magnet engine concept? Share your ideas, and if you're feeling adventurous, maybe even try some safe experiments of your own. Until next time, stay curious.